Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and today's video will be from the category I call the public knowledge. Because today we will be talking about the thing that in theory is so simple that nobody makes any tutorials on it, but in reality can have at least one or two twists. Because today we're gonna talk about how to install and configure iNav to be used with the DGA AIR unit. Step one is the hardware. Over here you have to A power up your A unit and this is really like you connect ground to ground and the red wire from your A unit or Cadix Vista because it's basically the same to the plus of your battery. Bear in mind A unit should not really work with the 6S so when you are flying with 6S please connect this to any voltage stabilized pad on your flight controller that supports around 9 to 12 volts. Rather do not connect this thing directly to 6S. Vista can work with 6S without any problem. The step two, to have the OSD running in your uh, in your goggles, you have to wire one of the serial ports from the flight controller running iNav to the A unit, once again using the same wire signal. You just have to wire TX to RX and RX to TX. So TX and RX has to be crossed between the A unit and the flight controller running iNav or Betaflight or actually anything else. Step two is of course the iNav configuration. So to show you how to do it, let me connect a flight controller and change the camera. After we have wired the DJI Air unit or Cadex Vista to our flight controller, we have to inform iNav on which serial port the Air unit is connected. To do it, let's go to the iNav configurator, let's connect and go to the port stop. Here, here is the first difference in the Air unit handling comparing to the beta flight. You cannot set the serial port you will be using to communicate with AIR unit as the MSP like it would be the case for the beta flight. So if your choice is the serial port one, then unselect MSP and in the peripherals column, choose the DJI FPV VTX. This is all. Save and reboot and from now on the INAV will know that it has to emulate the beta flight flavor of the MSP protocol so that the AIR unit can communicate with the flight controller and get all the useful data to render the OSD in your goggles. And from now on the only thing that is left is to go to the OSD tab and configure the OSD. Bear in mind, majority of the elements and the alarms that INAF allows you to set for the analog FPV will not work with the digital one. The subset is pretty basic. You can you have vario, you have altitude, you have speed, you have the GPS coordinates you cannot record. You will have the battery information and some of the most basic elements that are usually useful only to the flippity floppy, let's say close range multi-rotors users. Unfortunately, the subset of the renderable OSD elements for the airplane users, it is limited and unfortunately the INAV cannot fix it. If you would like to have more elements, you have to try to convince DJI to improve the coverage or use a trick that will give you at least some extra useful elements to the DJI OSD. But this topic we will cover in the separate video. But for now, it's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.